What it is guys, your boy Raw Jay-Z. So for today's video, we're gonna be messing with the carburetor. So look, I got a weird conclusion. So on my bike right now, I got a one-fourth throttle. That's like the race throttle. You don't gotta pull it all the way back. So when you give halfway gas, a bog out, I'm thinking that it's flooding the motor. The carburetor's already jetted and it never bogged before. So what we're gonna be doing is switching the throttle to a normal full throttle and we're gonna go from there and see what it does. But I think it's the throttle that's making the carburetor bog. So let me show y'all real quick. All right, so this is what it's doing. So I think it's getting too much gas because how fast this go and it's really for like racing. On a stock bike, I don't think that's supposed to be there. All right, so this is a half throttle. You feel me? We pull it halfway, the whole carburetor slide go up. So what I'm finna put on is this normal throttle right here. This is a full slide throttle, I guess to turn it. So we're gonna put this on and see if it's still bogged. Then we're gonna probably, if it bogs, we're gonna go over to jetting and go from there, you feel me? All right, so while I'm here, I'm gonna show you everything. This is how you take off the slide off the PWKs and, and sometimes you can get away, to, get away with it with the, um, with the Makuni carburetor, like the PZ27s and stuff like that. They're all the same way. So what you wanna do is get something skinny enough and slide and pop this white little clip up. I might have to switch over. You see how I popped the little white clip up? Go like that. You see, you see this finger right here that's holding the spring back? You just wanna pull it up, just like that. As long as possible, pull it out. Like I said, put it in the cap. Put it through the drain, compress the spring. You see how, this is how much it's gonna sit. Compress the spring, like that. Hold it back with your thumb. Do you see this white piece? You wanna use this, you saw I got the groove cut out. That goes onto the spring. So you wanna put it into the hole, and put that on the back like that, and it should sit like that, bam. When you're doing that, grab your little slide, had a throttle cable like that, and put it into the groove. Sometimes you gotta like, like do like a fast motion to make it catch, something like that, and bam, you're good. Put it up in there, and it only can, this cap can only go sit one way on there. They got the cutouts, so if you're smart enough, you should be able to catch it, you feel me? And just tighten it back down. Hope this helps somebody. All right, let's see what it do. All right, so you see how the idle was high? That's because, hold on, let me. So the idle was high. So I thought it was the idle on the carburetor. No, it was right here. You see this? The screw was, was the screw was turned out. So you need to turn this screw in. You see how the idle? So let's put the idle back on the carburetor up. Just like that. Let's put I like to have this screw. I like to have this screw turned in all the way. So you know this is there's no tension on this cable. It's only time yeah. So yeah, that should be better right there. So and you can hear when the idol is perfect. Alright, watch this. A lot better. A lot better, a lot better. That's why I don't like the race throttles on like little stock bike. Let's hit it. You see? A lot better. Cause it's just getting too much air and gas and it's, it's a, a stock bike can't handle that, bro. So look, man, now y'all gotta drop a like on the video. So look, as y'all see, the bike ain't bogging no more because when I tell you that one eighth, one half throttle, whatever it's called, that race throttle, is not, it's too much for a stock bike. You're over giving it too much gas and you're giving it too much air, whatever it is doing. And it's just bogging because it gets to full throttle way too fast before the, the bike can respond to it. A race bike, you hit the full throttle, it's getting, it's burning through all that gas and like, like that, especially on M5. But... With a stock bike, you need a regular throttle. Like, you, or if you run the race throttle, you got to ease on it and all that stuff. 
Let's get you a normal throttle and it's gonna fix our problem. So let's get to another thing people need to learn on these bikes. So let's get to it. All right, so the jet that I use on my mini bikes is a 115 jet. Uh, so this is what we use in California. So if anybody in California needs the jet site from a PWK to a PZ27, it is a 115 jet. Don't go to shops that's gonna overcharge you for a jet that they're drilling out and it's not gonna always be right. You will get an accurate reading with a jet that's already professionally drilled out to 110. So get your 110 jet. Something you gotta mess with the air mixture screw. But I'm gonna show you three different signs. Well, two different signs of bogging. Bogging is when the car, when you hit the throttle, it don't it is it don't full throttle no more. So it's two type of bogging. It's bogging in the beginning and it's bogging at the end. So if you're bogging in the beginning, that means the jet is not it's too small. And if you're bogging at the top end, that means you're um, flooding the motor so you're, the jet is way too big so I'm going to put a too small jet in my bike and I'm going to put a, a too big jet in the bike man I'll be talking boy but look yeah man so I'm going to show you all two signs of not jetted right so like I said need your 115 jet I hope y'all can see that but yeah man shout out to my boy Trap House Mini for the shirt you feel me y'all got any mini bike merch I want to send to y'all boy Royce AG make sure y'all Hit the DM. Bam, man. So I got a 105. I got a 105 and I got a 160. We're going to put the 105 in. I'm going to show you how that sound with the wrong jetting. You feel me? All right. So with this jetting. The bike shouldn't really want to start, so we gonna see if it start with this jet. It's a 105. So watch this. Y'all hear that? So the jetting is way off. All right, so this is with the 180 jet. So let's see how this start up. You see that I can take off now? So you can ride it, you see? But is this gonna sound just like this? There's too much gas getting into the carburetor. Y'all see that? That is a way big of a jet. You see? Like you can ride it, but you're not gonna be able to full throttle. You hear that sound? I don't know if y'all see it's leaking gas. All right, so you see the two signs of a carburetor that's jetted way too big or a carburetor is not jetted big enough. So like I say, you, most mini bikes, you got to stay between a 115 and a 120. It really depends on air, but in California, you should be between a 115, like I said, and a 120. You got to stay. I really don't know the jetting out there. Sometimes out of state, you can run with a 100 jet and you should be good. But like I said, different zone. You just got to test it out, test, test and tune, basically. But yeah, man, we're going to probably get to the next thing. You feel me? What's the next thing that people struggle with with mini bikes? I'm going to figure that out and I'll be right back. All right, so this is going to conclude the video. This is all the ideas I have right now on my head. But look, if you got any things y'all want to learn, make sure y'all comment down below. Make sure you drop a sub to the channel if it'll help you in any type of way. You already know who to go at this stuff, man. The king of YouTube of mini bike stuff in LA, the best in the West. You know how we do it. Shout out to my boy Trap House Mini. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram at Trap House Mini, TikTok, whatever. But look, man, we're going crazy all 2023. You feel me? This is my year. This is my channel. This me. This you. I'm out of here. You feel me? I should be on a track like, you feel me? Best rapper in the West. You feel me? I don't even rap, but I'm the best. But yeah, man, I'm out of here.